done some alterations to our code, tidied things up a bit. Now the thing is that we've just dumped this NPC manually into this level. This is not the ideal way to do things in a game. Normally you want to spawn stuff because you may have several areas and you may visit them at different times during the game and the setup you may want to be different. You may want different NPCs and different pickups, different requirements. So you can't normally do this. Now I'm going to delete this and the patrol path and spawn both of these and set them up from within C++. Before you delete this you should take note of the locations and for the patrol path you've also got these array elements, there's five of them. I've done that already, I've noted them down and so I'm going to give you this one first and then this one. Save that. Back in the editor we need to add a member function to the NPC that allows us to add the patrol path object to it. So if I open up the header and I'm going to call it set patrol path to be a void return function and it will take a patrol path pointer to a const will do and we use this to set this here so generate that and just do I think that's all we need for this now we've got to add code to the controller okay in this this begin play I found this didn't work for what I wanted to do so I'm going to take this code out actually before I do that I'll uh, nick this and I'm going to put it so now we're setting everything up in the on possess I'm going to put it here and uh, just take all this code out here I should really remove that begin play. Since we're not doing anything that's taken out. That's that. Now the patrol path class. This needs some new member functions. I think it only needs one. That will only implement that. I don't think we need the others. I did originally write function to delete a specific patrol point and one to, cl to clear everything and um, you would do that normally but let's just do what we need and uh, it's a T array in here so add no point that's all that needs now the um, game mode. So in the game mode, we need a private section. Yeah, we're going to put two T subclasses. One for the NPC, and one for the um, patrol path object. I'm going to have to use a constructor helper to get this. Uh, we need to begin play. I will implement. Uh, I'll call the super as usual. Need an if statement. I haven't done the code for this, have I? Yeah, okay, I've got to get these static. Let's do this first. Now, to get this path, the easy way to do it is to go to here, but, um, and we'll go to the blueprint you want to get a reference to. Just do copy reference. And I've got a feeling it might be slightly wrong, so I'm going to take. So, that succeeded. Get the class and do the same for the um, other one for the uh, patrol path. And again, yeah, let's take this duplicate of it. 
quite sure what's going on here with Unreal, but uh, sometimes this doesn't work, so I have to hack this a bit. Okay, so that's that set up. So basically, if we've got valid references to those, so if the location of the NPC was for me these values, and then for the patrol path, its position was this, and we need this sort of dummy spawn parameters. You can make comps because I don't do anything with it. So, uh, if you get the world and on a U world object there is a spawn actor member function, takes a class, the location, uh, an F rotator. We're going to set to zero rotator, and we just want these params in there. If that worked, we add things to this well we needed this add patrol point uh curly brackets initialization so if i set this to all zeros press control d a couple of times one two three four just mangle these numbers so that now we try and create the NPC by spawning. So again, we pass the class, the location, F rotator. Okay, so all we do is NPC. Patrol path, give it the path. I'm going to do a build. It's, it's probably gone and forgotten a load of stuff like the tree and everything. I've got to must remember to check all that. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, there's a warning here. By its previous local declaration. It looks like there was a bit of a mistake from the previous video. I've got the NPC twice in on possess, so I'm going to take one of them out. I always take notice of warnings. I often highlight things which are suspect. Let's do another build and see what happens. So that succeeded. So back in Unreal, open up this NPC blueprint, and it's got a tree. We can't set this because we don't have the patrol path in the level it's spawned now. It'll be set by code. Yeah, now if you run it now, it won't work. In fact, will it work at all? Let's have a look. Um, I don't think will it work. If I run this, it might even crash. It will just sit there and do nothing. And that's because the on possessed doesn't get called because it's spawned instead of being static. So in the this property here in the M M MPC blueprint, you have to go to this auto possess AI and you change that to either spawned or placed in world or spawned. Try that actually, it should work. Uh, do a par, run. Now he's going along the path, you see. Now, um, I think something else may have been forgotten. What happens if I try and do a distract sound? I know it does work. And now he's chasing me and attacking, so it all seems to be working. Oh, get out. I'll try and lose him. Give it a bit of a test, I think, because I've gone back to patrolling. I shall have a look at see whether this patrol path is working. I think it is. But we'll test it. Oops. 
Ah, no, no, he's found me, dude. But doesn't be rather good at finding me. I stay behind him. We can't see me. See what happens. Standing on that central area sometimes picks you up. Might be something that needs tweaking for that, but. Looks like he's got a glove on. It's the, um, you can see it on here. I haven't switched off the collision boxes. You can see them. Did we switch them off now because I've finished debugging? Had that on when I was uh, trying to get it work. <clears throat> One thing I've noticed, of course, you can always see that health bar if you see you know where he is. <laughs> um, perhaps that's something I need to look at. A future fix. Doesn't reduce in size in terms of perspective either. No relation. So that was that's working. Um, I think we know that the uh, distract sound is working. If I can kill him. Kills me. Uh, so it works right. So that's that.